Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. What's poppin' T-Squad? It's me, Keisha, a.k.a. Cover Me Pink, and I am here with a brand new Spill the Tea video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously, so if that works for you, then let's get into this video. Okay, you guys, it is the new year. We're only two days into 2023, and people are already starting with the F shit, okay? Um, so, Love and Marriage Huntsville reality star Martel Holt brought in the new year with his boo charade Whitfield. Now, that isn't really that strange or problematic or drama field or anything like that. Last I heard that they had broke up, but seems like they're back together. Well, they brought in the new year together, but the gag is, guess who else from Love and Marriage Huntsville was in attendance at uh, their New Year's Eve party? None other than Stormy Weather. Now, I wouldn't have been shocked if it was Destiny because we already know how two-faced and fake she is. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Kimmy or Maurice or Tisha or Marceau. I wouldn't have been shocked at all. But to see Stormy Weather there, she and her husband bringing in the new year, with bitch girl and Sheree is like oh this so this what we doing so everybody that fall out with male become friends with the ops is that what we doing now and then people wonder why she don't fool with these folks because they end up showing their true colors I mean okay it could have been male fault it could have been stormy fault of why they fell out but I have said plenty of times on this channel you really see a person's character when you're no longer cool with them. I don't care if we fall out today, tomorrow. We fall out. I'm not going to go start kicking it with people that I know you don't get along with. Because guess what? Birds of a feather flock together. Misery loves company. So I know y'all linking up only because y'all don't mess with me. And I know that um it was all in the... uh blogs and the youtube streets uh, literally a week ago how stormy was saying she was dealing with depression because of the negative feedback from this show and the fans and the audience and how you know people are attacking her company and you know in the reunion she's crying and stuff because people were saying that she was ratchet and bringing down the show but my thing is, you know, you're supposed to be this peaceful, unproblematic person. Then why would you go and do a shysty move like this? This is just pure foolery. Do I think that Stormy is a ratchet person? No, I don't. No. If anybody ratchet on that show is Destiny. Destiny the one to me bringing down the show. Not so much Stormy. But this is some fake shit. If I ever seen it. If I ever seen it. Like, really, girl, that's what we doing? That's what we doing? I have never seen her once on this television show film solo with Martell, have a conversation with Martell. I've never even seen her speak to him on the show. So to see her bringing in the new year with Martell and his new boo thing, it's just so played. It's so lame. It's so just <laughs> everybody's fake you can't trust nobody. And then, you know, the feedback after reunion part one was on Instagram and Twitter that Mill is so stuck up. Mill act like she don't want to beat her. Mill this, Mill that, Mill so negative. When you have everybody in your cast, except for Kimmy, coming for you and being fake and showing a true colors, what do you expect? What kind of energy do you expect from her? Because, okay, we fall out. All right, that's fine. But everybody I fall up with then gonna start linking with, with other people that they knew from the jump don't like me. So that proves to me you was never my friend in the first place. So it's either a thing where 
Martell is right about Mel, where she can't keep a friend. She is problematic in friendships. And that is, you know, why these friendships keep on derailing. Or is it a situation of Mel being friends with these people and once again seeing them for who they really are and deciding to remove herself from that person and that situation? And after they end up not being friends anymore, that person then ends up once again showing their true colors and validating and confirming that they were never really her friend in the first place. Like all of this is just so childish. It's so high schoolish. Like everybody friends now, you know, Destiny when she and um, Mel fell out. All of a sudden, now she besties with Tisha. Now, Stormy fall out with her. All of a sudden, now she going on double dates and stuff with the other couples. And now, bringing in the new year with Martell and Sheree. It's just like, what is going on? What is going on? Please tell me what is going on. Like, this is just craziness to me. Craziness. And people want to... People like Stormy that want to say, you know, you know, the criticism and the attacks online is affecting her mentally and mental health is nothing to play with at all. But don't put yourself in situations where then you open up the door for you to be ridiculed because you know what type of feedback you're going to get from the public after pulling a move like this. So how about I respectfully decline. I thank you, you know, for the offer, but I'm just going to decline it because right about now it's just too messy. You know what I'm saying? It's too fresh. It's too messy. The optics don't look right. And I don't even want to be involved in that. I'm good. Thanks for the offer. Hopefully y'all have a, a great time, but uh, I'm going to kick it over here with me and my folks. You know what I'm saying? Because, up until recently, you had never seen Mel online talking to Destiny husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even see her moving that way. She just leave y'all the hell alone and pay y'all dust. But y'all go linking up with each other. Girl, get out of here. What about your friends? Are they gonna be around? Child, 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 child. That's why I am friends with my day ones, people that's been around me from the jump. No new friends over here because people move really weird, bro. Really weird. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this foolery down below in the comment section, you guys. Because if this is how 2023 about to start off, child, I don't want it. Uh-uh, I do not want it at all. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell button. I'll see y'all in the next video.